Today, we are going to partition circles, squares, and rectangles into hmm, two, three, or four equal shares. Partition means to break apart. To have equal shares, each part of the whole must be the same. That makes it equal. I want you to try this activity at home. Get four pieces of paper that are cut into squares, post-its, or napkins work. Try and partition them in halves. That's two equal shares. How many different ways can you get halves? Each one of these post-its represents a whole. I partitioned each hole into two equal shares. So each hole has two halves. Each of my holes is partitioned equally, but you have to be careful. Sometimes just because you have two parts doesn't make them equal. Let's partition this rectangle into three equal shares. If you're doing this at home with me, I want you to label where you partitioned your rectangle and then label each part. The rectangle is cut into three equal shares. Each piece is one third of the whole rectangle. So the rectangle has three thirds. Take the next rectangle piece and partition it into four equal shares. I want you to label where you partitioned those four equal shares and then label each share. One fourth, one fourth, one fourth. This hole is four fourths. We also need to understand that equal shares may be different shapes within the same hole. Take a look at my example. My rectangle was also partitioned into fourths. Even though these equal shares are different shapes, they cover the same area. Now I'm going to partition this circle into two halves and this circle into four fourths. I want you to look for squares, rectangles, and circles at home and try partitioning them into two, three, and four equal shares. Thank you for watching. See you next time.